Farmers are hoping for a reprieve from the dry conditions as a subtropical low crosses over much of the country. The heaviest downpours are expected around Bay of Plenty, Nelson and the Upper North Island. Michael Mora is live from a farm at Waipu in Northland. Michael, has the rain finally come? Well, indeed it has, Mike. It's certainly underway here in Northland and it should last for much of the week and it's given farmers hope that the drought may soon be coming to an end. Monga Tapiri bull farmer Irving Stevens says the drought over the past couple of months is one of the worst he's experienced in 50 years and he's hopeful that this week's downpour could mark a turning point. Seriously good news. Yep, it's worth a lot of money to the whole country. In fact, the drought is already expected to cost up to $2 billion. It's really dry, it's seriously dry and um, we're not as bad as a lot of people, that's, that's for real. People like Warren Burke, whose dairy farm is west of Whangarei. The nine boars on his property have run dry and he's been totally dependent on supplementary feed like palm kernel. It's a big cost to us. It's, you know, like $10,000 a truckload, and we seem to be bringing in a truckload every couple of weeks at the moment. There wasn't much rain in Dargaville either. Kylie and Malcolm Welsh's cows will be calving in two months. But they are thin, and the couple say even heavy, consistent rain may not help especially as winter approaches. It'll be recovering and trying to get pastures back into good condition, animals into good condition for the 14-15 season. So it's here and I, it's, it's going to be a big challenge, a big challenge. The government says its support package for farmers has helped, but the problems aren't over yet. Now my view is that we're now in a green drought. I think it's a bit early to say that we're through the drought at the moment. There has been some rain, but not enough in all places. The hope now is that the predicted week of rain will eventuate. So Mike, the rain is expected to last for the next two to three days. It will ease off on Thursday, but then a new low will generate over the country and that will bring it more widespread rain. And good news for the Bay of Plenty and Nelson. Farmers there can expect up to 150 millimetres of rain this week. Michael, thank you.